Hello YouTubers, it's Hammy Technoid. Yeah, now we're back here in the uh, the turntable area where I've got my audio technique uh, set up with the laser disc again. And the reason I've got it set up that way is because I swapped out the cartridge on this guy. I had a Sure cartridge in there, but I uh, I opted to put this Audio Technica AT125 LC into it because I've got some things I'm going to show you later on. But what I wanted to show you is because because I changed out the cartridge, I also had to re realign the tracking weight. Okay, and it's tracking now at point. 8 grams not quite a gram so 800 milligrams is what I've got it set to tracking at and when you change the tracking weight you need to also change the anti-skating and I'm going to show you what happens when you do the anti-skating right on this Audio Technica turntable let me get the uh, camera angle right and you can see the laser disc it has a mirror finish so it's very smooth you see when the anti-skating is just right the needle doesn't move at all when you drop it down on the surface of a perfectly smooth surface like this laser disc so yeah and I want to show you something also let me uh, get out of the shadow here but uh, once you've got the anti-skating adjusted right the modification on the turntable look what you can do you can you can make it do a little dance I can make it I can make it go in I can make it come back out I can make it go in and maybe make it come back out look at that it's just by just by my adjusting the anti-skating I can make it do whatever I want but ultimately you want it to stay put so right there right there is good it's gonna stay put and that's where I want it to stay Okay, so that being done, lift that up, put that back. That being done, you're probably wondering, why hammy tag? Why did you change out your cartridge? You used to have this nice little Sure, the Sure V4, I think it is, but it's a, yeah, yeah, it's an of an M97 V4 and it's got its own integrated head shell too which is pretty cool it's all set up ready to go for you so anyway yeah I traded this one out because I wanted to put the Audio Technica and the Audio Technica is an LC here's the box it came in an LC now LC stands for linear contact and linear contact is something that is very special to a cartridge needle the stylus because there are basically three types of stylus sizes for a cartridge there's spherical which is round there's elliptical which is like an oval and then there's linear contact and it also has another name some folks call it shibata but i think shibata is a copyrighted name and that's why um, Audio Technica didn't go for that. They they just call it linear contact. It's essentially the same type of idea. Instead of having a rounded end, rounded edge like a, a spherical or an elliptical, it is a very pointed, very very pointed end. So it's precisely it follows the groove of the record precisely, very precisely, and you get all the nuances out. And the reason I changed out the cartridge is because, and uh, we're over here, we've got these guys. These LPs that are direct to disc. Get so the, uh, the doesn't shine in it. Okay, so this is a direct to disc album. It says Pro Direct Cutting Series. And wow, this, uh, this record is uh, a series that Audio Technica put out. They uh, it says right down here at the bottom, distributed by Audio Technica. Okay, so these are designed to be replayed with the their high end needles. 
the stylus, the cartridges. So yeah, and this is a group called Count Buffaloes, and the album's name is Emergency. And what I've done is there's going to be a follow-up video, and I've recorded the first song, Yama Tum Tumizu, and you'll be able to hear how, you know, pristine it sounds over YouTube audio. <laughs> okay, but anyway, yeah, these, uh, this, these direct-to-disc recordings are quite special, and when you watch the other video, you'll see that it's got pictures of the process and it explains it a little bit in the uh, process but yeah there's this album that I got and then there was this one and apparently these were on sale at some point two dollars and ninety nine cents I can tell you that's probably not the original price that they were asking but acoustic guitar this guy okay and these are not well-known artists these are Japanese artists uh, this is a band called Creation, okay, and their record is called Super Rock in the Highest Voltage, yeah, and um, typically the musicians on these albums are Japanese, and the uh, liner notes on the one were all Japanese, I mean, you just couldn't even read them, I couldn't read them, so anyway, yeah, this, this video here is the preliminary showing why I set up my needle the way I did, and all these albums that are direct to disc direct to disc now this was back in the day before digital and from what i've been able to glean from these albums is they were made back in 1976 and 1976 was pre-digital age you know before cds at least and uh what they did is they set up a room and they had a mixer and they had amps and they had a cutting head and a lathe and the lathe was set up to cut directly into a, a, a lacquer a lacquer disc which became the master recording and the thing about these recording artists they had to be top notch i mean i'm not i'm not saying because they were japanese they were slouches no these guys were top notch musicians because they only had one shot to record their song it was one shot and that was it. If they made a mistake, they had to start over. I mean, they had to scrub that lacquer print and start over because everything was live. They were basically recording a live recording right into a disc. So yeah, it was, it was precision. They, it was precision. So yeah, kudos to them, hats off. Anyway, this is the end of part one. Part two is gonna be the first song on that album I showed you by Count Buffaloes. Until next time, see you later.